So I released a video yesterday that was on February 25th, 2025. Today is the 26th. Gosh, there's so much news happening. It's hard to keep up with it all. So uh, there's been reports of the AMD Ryzen 7 9800X3D CPU failing, but mainly in ASRock motherboards. Well, now ASRock has released a new BIOS, which actually apparently fixes the problem. So let's jump into this. So ASRock has apparently released a new BIOS update to address the growing concern of CPU failures, and there's been a lot of that. I think there was around 40 reports of it here and there. And like I said, sometimes it's misinformation, so you have to keep that in mind as well. Take everything these days with a grain of salt. You also might remember reports of sudden crashes and even burnout CPUs, especially on ASRock AM5 motherboards. Now, you'll find many articles online about this, and this is great news. This is one of the articles, and here's another. I will link both of these in the YouTube description down below, like I always do. So, ASRock's official statement focuses on fixing unexpected boot issues and Error codes it is important to note, though, that they're forgetting to mention or there isn't anything in there about CPU failures because, of course, that's quite negative. However, this update is clearly aimed at mitigating the problem users are experiencing, and there is nothing wrong with that. That's a good thing. The issue isn't limited, though, to just ASRock motherboards. There are a few other, as well, motherboard manufacturers where it has been an issue on, namely MSI, Gigabyte, and ASUS. Now, from what I understand, the cause of these failures is still unknown, still unclear. ASRock Japan has suggested memory issues as the culprit, but AMD hasn't officially confirmed this. This leaves a lot of uncertainty. Yes, it does. If you're experiencing these problems, the new BIOS update from ASRock is, well, a critical step into resolving these issues, and I would definitely go ahead and grab it as soon as you possibly can. This is strongly recommended to keep everything stable. And this really highlights how complex hardware issues actually can be. And that's why I always say don't be an early adopter. Give it four to six months. Wait, have some patience. And by that time, most, not all, but most of the issues hopefully will be resolved. Now, I just want to go back to something I mentioned previously in this video, and that is misinformation. I get my information from what I think to be reputable sites. Now, they get their information from other sites. And sometimes things can get twisted and misconstrued. So please keep that in mind. I can only report on what I see and read and try and give you as accurate a picture of whatever I'm talking about as is humanly possible.